It happened every single night. When his parents came to say, sleep tight, and went to turn out his bedroom light. Stop, he'd cry. You can't do that yet. There's something important you still need to check. Look under my bed and let me know that there's no monster hiding down below. His parents sighed in utter despair and tried to tell him there was nothing there. They said it really is all in your head. So don't worry about while yes being skewed on the younger side um it has this tinge of maleficentness to it it definitely uh feels sinister in many ways but functions well as this kind of little not bedtime story and not bedtime lullaby but something in between i'd say which is quite interesting uh i think the animation verse uh kind of having real life actors also gives it this sense of disconnect that actually works in its favor of again being somewhat nefarious reminded me of all of those one sentence horror stories and um, it was very short and sweet but it definitely gave you chills um i liked that it was animated and had a sort of rhyming cadence to the narration, sort of reminding me of the start of a Dr. Seuss book, but uh, a creepy version. Um, I loved the heartbeat at the end um, and just the line, watching your cupboard instead of, the, you're, you're focusing on the wrong part of your room to be scared of. Um, also the shot of the eyes at the end also adds to that, um, creepiness that this this film has i thought it was really well done for being such a short film um and it definitely left me a little bit scared what i thought during the entire thing is whoever wrote this or the narrative i feel like had an older sibling because that's the kind of shit that my parents wouldn't have said to me about oh it's not what's under the bed it's about what's in your closet that's the kind of shit that my brother would have said to me because he's like six years older than me and that's just the kind of like bizarre fun that i feel like an older sibling likes to have with their younger sibling especially you know one that they think it's fun to torment them like i think all siblings do at some point in their lives um and it just like it flashed me back to my childhood a hundred percent i didn't have a closet like that but i definitely had friends where when we, i would stay at their houses for sleepovers or whatever like none of us could sleep if the closet was even a, a tiny little partial bit open that shit had to be closed before any of us would even attempt to go to sleep and you know i so i 100 percent can relate to this um but like i said it, it definitely had me flashing back to not necessarily something my parents would have said but definitely something I could see my brother saying. Um, and you know what? I think that that's, that's the kind of beauty of it. I think that, you know, there are some base things that most humans can, or most people anyway, can relate to. And I kind of think this is one of them, having that that fear of childhood of like something in the closet, something under the bed. I feel like those are pretty common things that most people can personally relate to, which I think um, is just a lot of fun. And then you get films like this that kind of bring you back to a different time. Great art style. I loved the voiceover for this. It had such great pacing, great emotion and inflection. The fact that the story was told in um, poem form and rhyme, I thought it was incredibly clever loved the music, loved, loved, loved the music for this. And the twist at the end made me laugh out loud because it was so unbelievably perfect. Boy Who's Afraid of Monsters Under the Bed, which is a very common thing amongst young boys and girls. And so the use of rhyme in the VO is 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 a device to tell this narrative story. And it takes this well-known trope from childhood stories um, about there being monsters in the bed, monsters in the closet, to serve as the basis for this piece. So this boy, unfortunately, is not giving in any reassurance from his parents whatsoever. And if anything, uh, they end up heightening his fear in the end. So it's just like a quick little short that um, has a lot of comic uh, point of view. Short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, I like a pithy film, you know? Um, I liked uh, uh, the reversal at the end. Like, don't worry about what's under your bed. Worry about what's in the closet instead. I thought, great, a great Halloween time story for kids. Like, storybook, like bedtime story for kids to read. 
during October. I think that's where the niche of this this film fits in. And I thought it was great. Mm -hmm.